Hi guys, welcome back to Tristan Book Corner. This week I'm going to be talking to you about The Legend of Sassafras House by Anta Safford. This book is very cool because it's about a cat with two eyes, but most importantly, there's a kid named Cal. He had lived in a new neighborhood. He thought there was a boy in a new house. Then he went to the library, saw the boy, the boy's cap, which was actually a girl, fell off and all of the hair came down and he saw that it was a girl. Then they became friends. Then they read in the book about this legend where there was outlaws who hid money. Then they went to search, search, search. They almost got caught on the first time. Then they went back to two times, then in the first time they saw the cat, I mean third time they saw the cat, two people else that they saw came to get the treasure. The cat scared them off and then they brought him home. They kept the cat and then Kel went back alone in the night. He got trapped in a secret passage. He almost got buried under sand, but then, um. Um, his friend saved him, and then they went out, Jasmine saved him, and then they went out, and they, he was sad, but then the mom said, bring that chair away, the old chair is gone, but not the cat. Then he brought the chair away, the cat scratched the chair, there was a hole, and then he saw something inside, he put his hand took out money, put his hand, took out more money, more money, more. And then he used it to build something very cool. And, and he used it to help, and you know what? I think there's another book in this series because there's a map at the end. He finds a map. What is he gonna do? You know that the outlaws hid gold in there? Well, the, yeah, it's true. So, when I if I get if there's another book in the series and I get it and I finish reading it, I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. And I hope and I just want to tell you guys something about it is that also when he got the money, he said now I have enough money to leave. He used it, but then he said no. He took it back and he used it for better things. So. I like this story because um, it says that you don't always have to, because it's saying that if you have money, yeah, you can buy a lot of things, but, but he didn't use it for buying stuff. He used it f for love and he stayed in his, in his town. And that's what I like about this story. And guys, I hope you watch all of my other book book review videos of Tristan's Book Corner. And before I say goodbye, I'm just going to say, did you know, so, say something that, did you notice I have a new shirt? And I'm not wearing my new usual shirt. No, 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 no. I'm wearing this shirt. And I just want to say a big thank you to Aunt Anita, Anita Sassford for giving me this shirt. I really like it and I'm very appreciative that she took the time to give me this shirt. And as I say every week, never give up reading and never give up on just in the book corner. I'll see you next week guys, bye!